Hi everyone, Joe for jazzpiececasebreaks.com with a brand new release on a Wednesday. 2022-23 Panini Court Kings Basketball 8 box, half case, random team break number one where one spot gets you two teams. All card ship. Big thanks to this group. Thanks to the people who bought spots straight up. I appreciate it. And congrats to the people who won spots in the filler. Let's double you up. Oh, double up. Oh, oh. And... All the teams are in. All 30 are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Two and a four. Six times each. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got Brian all the way down to Ben. Two and a four. Six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. We got the Warriors down to the Magic, and we got Minnesota at the Timberwolves at Phoenix. Phoenix up 99-91, 413 left. All right, Brian, you got the Golden State Warriors, Bobby with the Kings and Celtics, Brian with the Nets, Brian W with the Nets, Brian B with the Suns, Ben, a lot of B names here in this break, uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, the X-Line with the Clippers, Bobby with the Lakers and Pelicans, Dayton with the Pistons, Michael with the Hornets, Brian W with the Knicks, Bobby B with the Heat and Mavs, Brian W with the uh, Trailblazers, Michael with the Raptors, Steven with the Jazz, Brian with the Wizards, the X-Line with the Pacers, Bobby with the Cavs, Dayton with the Spurs, Bobby with the Rockets, Steven with the Sixers, Bobby with the Bulls, Hawks, and Bucks. The X-Line with the Nuggets uh, and OKC, Bobby with the Grizz, Ben with the Orlando Magic. We're going to alphabetize by team, and we're going to pause the video and open up the trade window. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. There were no deals done, so the list right here remains the same. Interestingly, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's going on at Panini, but they've stopped. They've stopped. We just have to go by item number now. They've stopped putting the name of the product on here, at least for the last handful of releases. Someone in the sticker department not doing their job, maybe. Maybe their label printer is charging by the, the character. Who knows? But no matter, as long as the right boxes are in here. And there they are. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. And eight on that side. All right, so we'll so we'll take a die, we'll roll it and randomize, or and we'll we'll just roll the die. And the left side will be one, two, three on the dice roll, and the right side will be four, five, six. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this side we will save for next time. So we'll put little squiggly marks here so we know they're from the same case. And the second half is loaded up on the site already. If you want to run this back tonight, we got time. We got time to, to fill it and break it if you want to. All right, we got John Morant on the cover. We got one autograph and memorabilia card per box on average.
Nice watercolor. I, I do like the artwork here. There is this number, Jeremy Soshan. It's not, but it's level two. That little foil on there. All right, behind Josh Giddy is 63 out of 75. Impressionist Inc. Scotty Barnes. And then uh, that's for Michael Hughes and the Raptors. And then the Relic, Bradley Beal. That's for Brian and the Wizards. Art Nouveau. That Josh Giddy to 149. And that will be for OKC. That will be for the X-Line. I think the Cubs are going to need a wild card spot, Rex. NL is pretty tough, man. Because whoever's not winning the NL West is definitely getting a wild card spot. Dodgers or Padres. Think about the NL East. Those records there. That's either going to... Whoever doesn't win the NL East. Right? That's going to be either the Braves, Phillies, Mets, the other wild cards there. That's going to be tough. Two wild cards might come out of the NL West or the NL East alone. I guess is that a third wild card for the for the uh I guess Philadelphia got the wild card got the third wild card with eighty seven wins. Here's a uh Paolo Benchero. Ben with Orlando. And there's Brandon Ingram, Art Nouveau for the Pelicans. That's going to be for Bobby. Yeah, I agree, Josh. Well, and then that's why the that's why the Cardinals were probably kind of coast to a uh, to a division title there because the NL Central is probably by far the weakest of the three NL divisions. We got Amari Stoudemire, 23 out of 35 Master Strokes autograph. That's for Phoenix. Brian Bunce with the Suns. There you go, Brian. Suns up right now, still up. 101.97. They're not out of the woods yet. 110 left. And here's a Jaden Hardy to 49. And that felt weird. It felt heavier for some reason. Like there was a pack inside. All right, behind Steph Curry is Mono Ginobili. Sorry, I was going to take the relic first, but. What's he at now? There's Mono Ginobili, 8 out of 25. Spurs legend for Dayton. And behind Steph is Joel Embiid, Stephen Olsen, and the Sixers. Art Nouveau relic. And the Steph Curry to 149. You know, isn't it... I mean, that's actually a sharp play, the X line, because DeAndre Ayton's one of those guys where squares will be like, no way, he, he, he will automatically get 10 rebounds just 
because he's the biggest guy on the court. He'll just stumble into 10 rebounds. But it's a frustrating part of DeAndre Ayton's game that he doesn't get as many... I mean, that guy should be getting 25 and 10 a night, easily. But he doesn't. These first step cards are pretty cool. Right, let's grab the relic first. There we go. There's Caleb Houston, rookie expression. Two color relic for Orlando. That's going to go to Ben and the Magic. And the autograph behind Nikola Jokic is a Jaden Ivey. Heir apparent autograph. Nice one for Detroit. Dayton and Detroit. Two city names right there. Dayton, Detroit, Jaden Ivey. 39 out of 199. All right, next box. Rex is saying teams should start off with their division and with them too. Yeah, I, I think there'll always be... I hear what you're saying though. At least like rivalry teams, right? Like Giants-Dodgers should always end the season together. You know, Cubs-Cardinals should always end the season. Something like that. Hmm. Does anyone have any special traditions for opening day, Mike Tower is saying. My tradition is group breaking with you guys on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I think every opening day I've been at work. There's LeBron James, artistic endeavor relic. Lakers had a good game tonight after losing to the Bulls a couple nights ago. They played them again in Chicago and they got a win. And behind Colin Sexton is Matt Barnes. Clippers edition of Matt Barnes. That's going to go to the X-Line. 47 out of 75. Correct, Josh. It's kind of becoming like an NBA schedule. I think that's kind of... I wouldn't be surprised if in the next 5 to 10 years, you know, we'll see... We'll see maybe... Especially if the league adds two more teams... If we're going to start seeing less emphasis on the division and more emphasis on, like, conference. Because now the schedule is every team plays each other at least once. Every team in baseball. Did Lakers get the over for you? All right, behind Anthony Edwards, who just saw just fell to the Suns. Here's Christian Braun for the Nuggets. Rookie expression relic for Denver. That's going to be for the X-Line. Yeah, I saw that earlier. Anyone have any opening day traditions? It's 10 out of 10, Paul Pierce. For the Celtics, that's going to be for Bobby. Bobby B with Paul P. For the C's. Here's Anthony Edwards to 
Christian Braun, level three. For the Nuggets, for Denver, that's going to be for the X line. The relic is Patrick Baldwin Jr. That's for Brian and the Warriors. Warriors come out to play. And we got a nice air apparent rookie autograph, Keegan Murray for the Sacramento Kings. What a great season for them this year. Bobby B with the Kings. 006 out of 199. And there's Chris Middleton to 99. You see where how many points did Drew Holiday drop today? Ooh. I think it was today. Today, right? All right, eighth and final box. Next half in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out. We can run it back. We got time tonight if you want. Pascal Siakam for Toronto. It's going to go to Michael Hughes. And there's Mark Williams, 23 out of 49. Fresh paint autograph, Charlotte Hornets. That's going to go to Michael Hughes and Charlotte. And the Cade Cunningham blue foil is 1 out of 25. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty nice. Good to see some of the new faces in this uh, in the 2022 class. Second half of this break in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next basketball break. Bye-bye.